Welcome back, finally, to the Super Mario 64 Let's Play. And I am your host, Super Mario Sonic Lover, and we are finally continuing on here and going to what looks like the Bowser Boss door, which it is, but first off, we need to do one more level before we can go on to that. And as you can see, there's a thing behind this um, portal, and that will lead to us to Bowser's um, second lair, pretty much. And this is the second to last water level, and I say that because there's one water level in the next set of levels, and where well, you can basically um, set the water level and stuff like that. And if I recall correctly here, um, the first stage here, um, if you do the first stage and then try and get 100 coins later, I'm pretty sure there'll be coins missing, uh, but don't quote me on that, but just just to make sure, I'm going to do the coin run now, just to get that out of the way, because this is not, trust me, this is not an easy place to get red, um, the 100 coins in, and yeah, I was just looking for these coins right here, because they, these coins right, right there are really tricky. And they're really easy to miss, so just do your best and just remember that they're there basically. Just try it. Don't. Oh, gotta be careful here. Because if you go into that, it's instant death. And that whirlpool right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful right there. And you basically, you're gonna have to try and get all of the coins in this place because. It's really hard, like I said, to get 100 coins, and you, you, they, whoa, that was close right there, whoa, pretty, I, I was panicking right there, if you didn't, couldn't tell, and my fear of sharks doesn't really help at all, because I really don't like sharks, they just scare the crap out of me, in real life, in this game they don't, well, to some degree, maybe, but not too much. Uh, I'm gonna get these coins down here because there's a trail right below the surface, and th this treasure chest that that's like remembering the um, l the um, previous water level we did. Remember that? That was way too long ago, so you guys probably may, may not, may or maybe you do. Maybe I'm just bluffing here. Well, not really bluffing, but maybe I'm just doubting you guys. I don't know. But then again, it's been way long since we've done that level. Jolly Roger Bay, I think it is called. But, yeah, it's basically like that. We have to have open the treasure chests in the right order, basically. That's pretty much what this is. I pr I pr I'm pretty sure it's harder, though, because it's around a water area. And in that level, it was around, like... It, it was around like a surface area, and it was just all in one spot. Well, actually, there was two parts. There was two areas where it had those treasure chests. One where it was underwater, but that wasn't even hard at all. Because, like the other one, it had, it was just in one air, like one, like small area, like a circle, and then it, it was just not that hard in general. And here, you're you're around a huge, like a bit whole area, and that can be pretty tricky. Because, it, you, I don't know, it's just kind of hard hard to um, remember where the um, thingies are, the the right treasure chest to get are, at, at, at like what time and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, now I remember why I'm doing this first, because once you get the first star, that Bowser thing you just, barrier you just saw there will disappear. And if you get sucked in there, you'll get sent out of the castle. We have to redo all of this over again, which isn't a good thing, trust me. It has ha happened to me so many times in the past, and it's just re it just gets really irritating, you know? And it's kind of tricky getting the rest of the coins, because you're not, you're not really supposed to get the red coins at this point, but you're going to have to get some in order to um, get 100 coins, because this is... How does that hit me? Seriously, game, what is wrong with you? Just, just don't like me, do you? 
No, I do not. You must die. Because... Because stuff in it. Yeah, I, I don't even know, but... The game does not like me. And I always found it weird how you can't just go on the, s the surface of water and replenish your health that way. That's really odd. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I still enjoy this game, but to be... I'm gonna be 100 completely honest here. And this game hasn't really aged the best. I mean, it's still a great game. Don't get me wrong. I love this game, but the controls are just not that good anymore. Look, playing, replaying this game, it, the camera is pretty bad. It, it's still completely p playable and whatnot. Um, but it's just playing it again after so after several years, it, you really see how age has become. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Fierce. Like I said in the update, still, I have, I do have hay fever, so sorry if I randomly sneeze, that's why, but I can't, I can't fix that. I might edit that out, but I don't know. I'm going to try and reach for the red coin. Yes, there we go. But I landed on the sub that hurt me, so that sucks. Oh, well. Hopefully, I can get enough coins, because I only have about more than half but I need to get I need to get enough coins so I can get the coin star can I get anywhere if I go on there uh, I don't know I don't know if I've said this before but from now on this LP will have one course for eight each video or part basically but since well, I'm gonna do Bowser's. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. Stupid Mario. Stupid plumber. But basically, I'm gonna have this video. This video will have this stage right here. And then it will have Bowser's second lair. Because there's no, really no point just have, doing. leaving the Bowser's levels for just one video. Because they're just really short levels. And. They're just not that long, and they, they just they don't need their own video because there's no. That, it'll just be a waste. I, I'm gonna get this, dudes. I am gonna get this. You just just you wait, man. I am gonna get it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop until I get this. But I'm gonna try and see if I can find any other coins before I do so. Cause you know I might. I might edit out until I get that blue coin switch because it will just get monotonous just seeing me going, oh let's do this! Oh, I failed, oh, I failed, oh, I failed, and then I'm gonna play. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what that voice was, so don't even ask. Oh, oh come on! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that blue coin, those blue coins, because I can't find any other. Um, coins right here that I can reach. So, or well maybe I can reach something from the sub. The sub. So, oh, don't fool you, stupid plumber. Like I said. What? The the controls still work okay. They work fine, especially for like an N sixty four game. But like I said, it it the con it has aged, and I have played the. Um, DS version, and in my opinion, that works even worse because some people say it works better, but in my opinion, it, it doesn't because it's just uh, the walking speed, the normal speed you walk at. That's really that's way too slow in my opinion, and when you run, you do use the running ability. Um, it, it's just. It's just really stiff, and it just killed me so many times. And I don't own the game. I, my friend, um, bo um, brought it round one time to my house, and he let me play it. And I really didn't like it at all. Well, I like it because it's 64, and I love this game. But, but oh come on! I know I can do this. Wait, is it? Am I missing some? Stuff here. 
I am missing something. I should... I can't be... That can't be all of the coins, surely. It, it really can't. Come on here. Where are those coins, matey? Because this is just stupid. Come on. You know you want to give it to me. You know you want to give... I don't know. I'm not even going to start because I am not a good singer at all. Well, I, I can be, but I'm just... I'm not a good... I don't like singing in front of the camera. And that's the guy I say it. That's, um, that's the dude, um, that did that Michael Jackson Live and Learn video. And did it with, sound, with sounding like that he had no fear whatsoever. Yeah. What a hypocrite. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Um... Okay. I can't do this, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec because you guys, you guys are probably not gonna want to watch this for this long. So I'll cut out until I get, I find a chair of coins or something, or get to this blue coin switch right here so be right back guys okay you know what screw it I've been doing I've been trying like over 50 like 100 times now and I just can't I just it's just like I'm almost impossible to get to like blues coin switch I, I've even tried looking online and I saw this video that was able to do it but you have to be so precise with your jumps and all that and you have to like slide down there and like, I'll show you how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, it's supposed to be done like that, and then you jump, and you wall kick that platform, and you, la you like, um, grab the ledge and then just climb up. That's almost impossible to do, and I don't have that kind of precision and precise, like, platforming skills and whatnot, so I'm just gonna leave it, leave it and just do the, um, 100 coin challenge later and I'll probably I'll just edit out all the coins that you saw me get and well I'll, I'll yeah I'll probably do that and then do it for the eight red coin mission because that way it will probably work the best and as you can see since we did the sub the um that mission right there we can now go to the Bowser level, but since this is the, we're going to 100% here, so we're going to go back in and do the next mission, which is Chests in the Cone. Like I said earlier, there's a... Oh, might as well do this first, because I can't remember for the life of me if we had one of these challenges before, but basically what you have to do is follow this manta ray around and grab the rings that he brings out and he, we have to get five of them and then we get a star so quick and easy star to get not too hard but yeah yeah if you mess up though you have to start all over again so you have to be you, you have to stay on your toes basically Just do, it's not too hard but you can't be too careless that's what I'm trying to say one more one more yeah, there we go. It's really tricky to get this though, because it's right, like you can see, right above the whirlpool. So, yep, we got we got it, but barely. It's really hard to get that. Well, not really. You just have to judge distance and the uh, angle and all that. It's not too bad if you know what you're doing. If you're careless, then you'll probably you probably will die, and that's not a good thing to do. Yeah, now let's do the chest in the current. And like I said, it's really hard to remem remember what chest needs opening first, so I might have a bit of trouble here. So bear with me. I can't remember what is the right chest. Is a... 
Nope. Okay, what's the right one? I can't remember at all, seriously. It's been so long since I've done this. And it's really awkward trying to get these because you have to face the chest. And. Oh, and, yeah, problems like that can occur when they're trying to suck you in. But I don't want to get sucked in. Oh, I don't want to lose my lives. No, that's not it either. And I died. Great. Yeah, that's the problem with that. Okay, let's try it again. Let's fail. Because that was atrocious. No. And like I've said, I don't know if I've said this before, but I like how this game is more exploration based. So you can pretty much go for any star at any time you want, most of the time. Um, because you, you, it just has the stars laid out for you in the levels. And you can just choose what one to go for at what time. And I've always liked that, because in the pr future games, Sunshine and Galaxy 1 and 2, and even 3D Land, they're, they're all really strict on what star or course or level you, you, they want you to go through. Because in Sunshine and Galaxy 1 and 2, they set you through certain missions. And, like stars and you can't go you can't try and get any other star you have you're strictly stuck with that one that mission you're they give you and yet yeah, like the other stars are just non-existent out completely and you just can't do them at all and in galaxy one of the two it's basically the same thing they set you on a, um, a narrow well not really narrow but a path to a single star, bro. a single star, basically, and you can't go choose what star to go to, and it's more linear and all that. I don't mind this personally. I like what, 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 what. Personally, I like both ways. I like the free roaming, and I like the linear, 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 linear route. I can't talk today. Li linear. Lar linearity, I don't even know, but you get my point. I like both ways, I don't mind which way they do. And um, like, and I said 3D land as well because they, you're pretty much stuck with doing all the courses because you can't move on to the next world until you've done all the levels. So it's pretty much strict, it's strict with that as well. And oh, 100 coin, well, re 8 red coins, so. I'll cut out until I get to that section, like last time, so see you guys in a second. Oh, I completely forgot, guys. I think I think we have to, to do the Bowser level before the sub goes away and we can actually do the red coins and all that. So, I'm gonna get this, the, the few stars I can now, and then go into the Bowser level, do that all good stuff, and then I'll, I'll come back here for the red coins and the 100 coins star. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how we're gonna roll because I completely forgot about that, guys. Sorry. So I did all that coin collecting for nothing. So that's just lovely, lovely, I say. Anyways, here you're gonna have want to get those that invincibility and metal cap, and just go through there, uh, through through that cage there, because metal makes you go um, walk walk underwater. Ooh, oh yeah, 70 stars is how much you need to do the to get to the final boss really. So I thought it was 60, but no, it's 70. So yeah. So there's there's only one more star we can get, and I know what that is. That's simple. It's it's really simple. It's just like the manta ray one, apart from. You're doing it above a current this time. And I'm gonna be completely honest here. I didn't think I was gonna continue these LPs to be honest. Because, you know, in my update video, I was gonna say, like, ask you guys if you want 
Okay, sorry for that pause, but I just heard some really weird noise in the background. Um, but anyways, um, I was going to ask you guys what, what uh, if you wanted me to finish these LPs with a capture card, or if you wanted me to just leave them and just let me redo them in the future as time passes by. But I thought, eh, might as, might as well just finish them because they're nearly done anyways. So... Yeah, and all you, all you really have to do is just stay here, just let the rings come to you, and yeah, there you go. It's simple as that. It's not hard. It's no, not it's not hard at all. It's just really, really easy. It shouldn't take. It shouldn't um be hard at all. It should be a piece of cake, and you should do it instantly like I did. So, yeah, boy. Yeah! Let's get that star and go to Bowser level. There's one like this star like this in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This isn't Banjo Tui, um, Jolly Rogers Bay, where you have to go to the center and get the get to the um, current where the star is with the metal cap. But it's not too hard this time around because you're right there. And in jo Jolly Rogers Bay, you're you're like you have there's a long fart, it's a long drop down and you, you have to be really quick. And basically here, Bowser's second la um, lair is basically a lava lair, and, which is typical for Bowser nowadays, but it, it's, it's just a lava, lava lair essentially. And there's a lot of fire, fire traps and all that, all that good stuff I guess you, could, you would normally expect from Bowser really. Because you know, in most, in like most of the games now, his, his traps are, his um, like levels are filled with lava, and I'm gonna go for the red coins because you know we're we're only gonna go. This is only a um, one mission level, and we're not gonna go back to this stage. So you know, I'm gonna gonna. Um, Get the red coin chat. Get red coins out of the way because they get me a star, and this is 100%. Like I've said before many times, and you know we can't call it 100% by missing things, can we? Just saying. <laughs> uh, just get this coin right here, and there we go. Now we can move on and go up this pretty cool. Elevator, I guess you could say. I don't know. I, I've I've always liked those kind of elevators. That I just thought they they were pretty neat, a nice touch and all. They just they just add to the not really atmosphere. They just but they just add to the environment and all that. And just they just bring a nice touch, you know. Oh, yes. Just I've. Believe you have to be careful here because there's should be a, there should be a red coin somewhere around here, and, and these platforms move up and down. So yeah, like yeah, there's a red coin there. So you have to wait until it comes up enough so you can get it. Oh, let's try and get in there. Oh, not quite. So we're gonna have to wait. I've no idea what's in that block. Uh, I couldn't care less to be honest. I mean. You don't, 100 coins, get 100 coins in these levels doesn't do a thing. You can't even get 100 coins in the actual stage, but you can try to do it for the Bowser level, for the Bowser fight, because if you, um, oops, 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 crap, crap, crap. That was very lucky. Ooh. Ooh. But like I said, you can, um, well, like I was saying, um, you can go to the Bowser fight, um, swing, swing Bowser around, and like put out his flames and all, fire, his flames and all that, and that that will give you coins, and you can get 100 coins that way. But two things, it doesn't, it w takes a way too long, and it doesn't get 100 coins like I said in this, these levels doesn't do anything. So you're really race, wasting your time if you try to do that. So. Really, there's no point. Let's just say that right now. 
Because I've done that before. Uh, nothing happened. Yeah. Be really careful here. I think this is a life. Yep. I've never liked how. Um, oh no, that's why. But uh, that—that's where the red coin star is. I'm pretty sure. But I never liked how um, in this game and Galaxy One and Two, they always reset your lives whenever you replay the game. And in Sunshine, they don't do that. They um, basically save your lives, and when you can't play the game again, you have that same amount of lives anymore. And it just gets kind of annoying, you know, because like you have, you got, say you got like um, 50 lives or something, um, and then when you play the game again, this is all gonna go down the drain, and you have to restart. Well, not really restart, but you, you're not you're gonna have to get all those lives back and it's not too huge of an issue but it can get pretty irritating depending on what part of the game you are at because if you're at a really hard part of the game and you need all those lives then it can get, screw you over it, it, yeah it just can you just have to be careful I guess and I'm backtracking here because I missed that red coin that I'm not sure where it is. So. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I, re I remember now. So basically, you have to go on this elevator and wait, let it go up. And, yep, it's right there. That's really easy to miss. And, yeah, we just have to platform our way back up there, which is kind of. Annoying, but it's not too bad seeing how this level is really, really short. And it shouldn't take us too long to get back up. And the the place where I was I was trying to get across earlier, that was where that star that appeared is, would is, would show up, and it did. So yay! I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, that's where the star is, was gonna pop up. So would be, we're just gonna go there right now and then we're gonna fight Bowser for the second time. Which is not too it's kind it can be tricky if you're not careful when you you don't know what you're doing, but if once you know what if you're good with the controls and you're not really a pro but you know the game well then it shouldn't be too hard of a of a boss fight at all. Well this game isn't really that hard at all to be honest. Some parts maybe at some points, but it's an overall it's it's an overall um, average difficulty game, I guess. It's nowhere near the amount of difficulty Sunshine was. That game is insane at points. I remember playing that game um, during the uh, secret level in the uh, the the um. Sun, the sunset level, where, I can't remember what it's called, but the one of the manta ray boss, the, the level after that where you have a secret level, that took me a, over 50 or so tries and that took me, in, that that just drove me insane, I, it was both the game being insane and, but, and me just sucking really, because <laughs> some of the things they expect you to do in the, that game is is really insane. The the gimmick here this time around for Bowser is that he pow he like jumps and he pounds the ground and then it like shakes and topples a little bit so you're gonna have to be careful if you don't want to fall because if you fall it's pretty much instant death where you can't come back and somehow Bowser is able to warp. I don't know how I don't know how he, he learned Chaos Control because this is the Mario series, but okay, I'll, I'll live with it. I don't know. This is this is the Mario universe after all, with a plumber that can breathe in space and ma and eating mushrooms that make him bigger and all, and giving power ups. I think anything is possible in this world, in this universe. And I won't. It won't let me grab his tail. Stop warping. Yes! 
Okay. Now we have to aim for that ball. It shouldn't be too hard. Yes, there we go. And like before, one hit KO. So, yep, he's knocked out more like not I was gonna say dead, but he never he never dies. He he survives a big ball of lava in Mario Galaxy One and a and a black hole web thingy in Galaxy Two. And yeah, he's been through much worse. Can it be that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be waiting for you as well, Bowser. And you're going to regret waiting for me because I am going to kick your rear end. You just wait. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We had um, access to the third area now. But I'm not going to go there just yet because... Like I said, I'm going to go to Die Die Docks and finish that off. So, uh, for real this time, I'll see you when I get all those coins and when, and when I get to that uh, red coin section. So, yep, see you, in a, see you guys in a sec. Okay, I'm in the area now, and like I mentioned before, if once you do that level, that, that door, that area, will, that thing will open and the Bowser barrier thingy will disappear and if you go outside there you go outside of the castle and you have to go all the way back to the level get all those coins again and yeah it's just not a good thing so I'm um, the coins there I'm gonna completely ignore because they're just not worth they're just not worth the risk because because there's like five or so coins there but I just don't wanna try it really because I just don't want to risk doing that. It's, it's, it's really risky. You can get a few, but I don't know if you can get all of them. But I don't even want to try getting any, to be honest. Because, like I said, like I said, I just want to play it safe, really. And I've been saying, like I said, and really way too much. But and it, it doesn't matter, really. There I go again. But you guys really probably don't care. But if you do, well, sorry. But, uh, I, I, I don't know. But here, with this red coin challenge, it's kind of, it can kind of drag on, but you, basically, you have to wait for these things. And, yeah, it, it can be kind of annoying waiting for them. It, it's not too bad, but it can get a bit boring. Well, not really, not really boring, boring, but... I can get a bit tedious waiting for them every time. And yeah. It's not too bad though, it doesn't last too long. But yeah. I have, I have mixed feelings on the. Well, I like the polls, I'll say that. But. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I like the this idea, but it, it's not. It could have been better, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I think we should be able to get the red the um, hundred coins. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna have to be lucky, I guess. I'm gonna get that one last because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get the um, the star hundred coin star from them from from popping up from them re those rare coins over there. That's not gonna happen. I think we can just barely just get just right on hundred coins. There's one there. Oh, we're missing one coin. I need to go over that risky place oh, I need to get one coin from there oh. wait oh there's three oh never mind then we can get it no problem okay that's good good to know so we don't have to go to that place whoa we that was cl that was a good cool, close call I guess yeah we need that just one I can't reach over there. 
So we're going to have to uh, get onto that pole over there. Like I said, I have mixed feelings for the um, pole section. Because it fits in Mario, but I just... I, I don't know. It, I just, I like it, but it's kind of slow, but at, at the same time, this is, that's, Mario isn't known for speed, so, yeah. I guess I like it and don't at the same time, if you get what I mean. So, let's just get this, and we'll be done for this episode. So, we'll just grab this star. Comes over there. Ooh, didn't like that, did ya? Here we go. Let's get that. Man, I'm kind of tired actually. It's it's not too late. It's about half eight, but. It, it, I don't know, it, it's averagely late I guess, and talking for so long after after uh, many months is it, kind of, not. it's a little bit tiresome because I'm just getting back into LPing and I can't, I already really am but my, vo my uh, voice isn't really used to talking this much I guess you could say. Well, I've been doing out playthroughs with a group so that's something but still when I LP I talk it is solo and I always I'm always talking so yeah my voice isn't used to doing that I guess but that's pretty much all for this video so if if you guys enjoyed then make sure to leave a like and a comment because it really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate if you if you do, I'm not forcing you, but if you enjoyed it, make sure to do all that good stuff. But like I said, I'm not forcing you, but it's great if you do, and I appreciate the the um, responses and all that good stuff you guys send. And yeah, so subs if you want to see all the latest updates from me, subs make sure to subscribe to my channel, and yeah, you'll see all the latest news and updates and uploads and all that good stuff so yep like i said i've been super mario Sun and lover and i will see you guys next time for area 3 of super mario 64 so peace out guys later it was twinkers